the house. Okay. Oh, never, never time. Oh, gee, baby. Hey, I haven't done that in a really back. long time. Woo. Um, I uh, ate my way through Europe. And we walked and oh, walked didn't? and walked. I did. I mean, it was crazy. Come on. Okay, we have the not food. addressed the the broken ankle. The broken ankle in the room. All right. So uh, I joke about that eating my way through Europe because if any of you have been and spent a long time there, what do you do most? You walk. I mean, it's you're so active yeah. trying to see everything. And um, I, we were rushing off to the Eiffel Tower with our kids one morning, and it just started to rain. So there's a little water on the steps, and I went for uh, my own Eurostar ride. Mm. <laughs> on my feet and I slipped I fell forward That's I painful. actually yeah. yeah it was very painful and uh, I, yeah I lost consciousness for a second there for God. the pain Kennedy and I were talking about this effect that your brain has yeah, when it's that a vagal reaction yeah but um, you know what I went had an x-ray they put an air cast on me and you guys know me well enough to know that I just kept on trucking so here I am yeah. I only have one heel on for a couple of weeks because I have to wear this air cast but I brought back four pairs of shoes can we like can we sign our I, names on your cast and mm -hmm. stuff? oh would you that'd be, that'd be so cool <laughs> but I brought remember how I was gonna shop for shoes and I said I my husband was holding me to four I got them I have glitter pens I'll bring them tomorrow really mm -hmm. oh my life is complete now. You might, you might have your air cast re replaced. I may if they boot. do if they do a boot. I have to tell you that during the daytime I like the air cast. At night I don't because I sleep like a windmill. I'm like out in the farms of of <laughs> the Netherlands mm -hmm. trying to drum up energy. Wait, my what? Husband I just says. what? I just am like a really active sleeper, and so I bruised my other leg with this cast. Because oh, if yeah. I get the boot, then I don't have Lord to. Lord, so you're really you're like really going with the ice sleep like, on the water. I'm like, you do not have to sleep story. with the boot. That's the great thing about it. You <laughs> what did Kennedy tell me? So I need to change my story about how this happened. You yeah. want me to say that I was? You were wrestling French ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> and they took doing. it much worse than you in did. In my sleep, people. So can we in go back to where we just left off the live show? Because that's hysterical. Yes. Congressman Chavis, Chavis was um, informing us that his wife politely sat him down to say, uh, you know, I love you. I love, I'm so glad you're going to be around more. But things work in our house. I don't need you to fix them. <laughs> was and that a dig at Congress? That's a dig at me personally. They're, what are the most widely viewed and uh, Facebook posts I ever put up is when um, my, the toilet was broken at home. Uh -oh. And I came home for the weekend, you know, came in late Friday, I had to leave Sunday, but I didn't fix the toilet. So Julie took it upon herself, fixed it, put her thumb up, took a picture of the toilet and her thumb. Awesome. And then everybody said, you know, come back, say, why did we send you to Congress? Julie should be Woo! the one going to Congress. Woo! She's gonna actually that. fix things. That's cool. Who gets your seat now? A uh, special election we'll know in November, but uh, they're going the through interim? the process. It, it's just empty, faking. So your district has no representation in Congress. No. That is not okay. Bad boy, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were talking a little bit during the break that it might be maybe some room for you to get back in politics. What would that look like? Uh, look, I, 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 I'm not trying to rule it out, but I didn't leave Congress in order to have some tricky moves so that I could get back into politics. I pretty much dismantled that. Um, but I need to get more balance in my life. And, and it was, you know, it was the right decision for me and, and our family. I, we're about to become empty nesters. I turned 50. I mean, there's a lot of wow. things that happened that kind of changed in the perspective over an 18 month period. I, two of our three kids got married yeah. and they're moving out of yeah. state. Yeah. And so here I was looking at the calendar for the next 18 months thinking, boy, I can spend 18 months, uh, it'd be gone maybe two to 300 days or, and have my wife sitting at home by herself. And we've been married 26 years and I did not sign up for her sitting alone in Utah and me sitting on a cot in oh. Washington, D.C. Because you live in your office, essentially, when yeah. you're yeah. there. I mean, that's, I you, you would like yeah. to see legislation where, uh, you know, the people in Congress who aren't necessarily, uh, who's the super rich guy from Southern California? Daryl Issa. Daryl Issa. Issa. People who aren't necessarily Daryl Issa. Richest member of Congress. Yeah. 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 Look, it can't be just a rich person's game, and we're paid yeah. a very handsome salary, but I can't afford two mortgages. I can't afford two electric bills, two cable yeah. bills, two, and, and that's what happens. So there's a lot of us, more than people realize, who actually sleep on a cot in and their share, office. And uh, share like apartments together on Capitol Hill. That's I don't the think last thing I wanted to do was the degree that the sacrifice you and Orrin people Hatch? make. Yeah, have oh, a and crash pad fun. with Orrin Hatch. Ben Uncle Orrin and I could just have a little. <laughs> ben Sass lives in his little office cave. on a cot yeah. as well and showers. A little light in Heineken in. keg. Oh, look, it's a privilege and honor <laughs> to serve, but it, it does take its toll and, you know, I, 
I say, look, I want to be with my family more and more engaged. And then people say, well, that can't possibly be. But well, no, I that's mean, sad you also them. come from an incredible state yeah. that is one of the most livable states in the country. I mean, Utah is an yeah. amazing yeah. place yeah. with some of the nicest people. And uh, I can't imagine. Arguably some of the nicest national parks in the country. It Absolutely. Beautiful there. Yeah, and some of my so, favorite snowboarding in the country. You know, I'm curious how much the acrimony and vitriol in politics right now, and not just in politics, because we were talking about what it's like to go to one of these town halls. I mean, the citizenry in this country is challenged by civility at times. How much of that maybe plays a role in you taking a look and saying, wait a minute, what am I doing here? Uh, I mean, look, the family issues, um, the, the change in life, but I got to tell you, you know, some of the, the threats and death threats and, and ridiculous way that some people are acting, yeah, that, I mean, that's a contributing factor. It's not the contributing mm -hmm. factor, but, you know, it kind of weighs on you. It, it, the idea that somebody had to be arrested and thrown in jail because of, you know, who's going to come it's slip sad. my throat. And, I mean, that's oh, awful. I mean, I mean yeah. it's, it's really scary. And in light of what we've seen, because sometimes mentally unstable people are suggestible and they see the amount yeah. of coverage that, that someone like the, the shooter who was trying to assassinate yeah. as many people as possible. Uh, you know, they, they see that and it, it tips them over the edge. So it is a terrifying prospect. It's, it's one thing to talk to people who are angry. It's another to have to constantly look over your shoulder because you think one of them yeah. might be violent or murderous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have something off the live chat I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. Russia, 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 and the chant. Rock Oz says most of FNC is joining the mainstream media with all of this. You know, I, I sometimes, and having been out of the country and looking back at what we were doing here uh, across the media, I sometimes wonder where the chatter really comes from. Because you can cover a whole host of things, and a lot of the mainstream media, we know who they are, some of their names don't spell anything. Um, but they do come back to Russia, Russia, Russia. And then the White House comes back to Russia, 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 with Donald Trump Jr. reissuing a statement on whether or not he met with an attorney and what that looked like and blah, blah. I mean, how do we get out of the spiral? Because there's no evidence of any collusion. I think it will burn itself out. I think for most Americans, it probably already has. I think they're getting tired of it. And the, the reverberation back for the Democrats is that they're still not talking about policy. I mean, if you ask your average person, what does a Democrat, what did the Democratic Party stand for in terms of policy on health care? What does it stand for on the economy? Those, they still don't have these fundamental answers, and that will hurt them in the long term. Look, there have been five elections, special elections, yeah. and the Republicans have won all five of them. I think middle America figures this stuff out, and, and uh, they, they, there's a backlash that's actually... Not There's a much greater wisdom in people who are trying to survive yeah. and, you know, people who are still in survival mode. And we're talking yeah. about uh, the Great Recession, which started in 2008. It's nine years later. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you've got so many people in this country who are still in that position, it's awful. Wow, that's a great point. Okay, so Nelson EP13 says, why can't health care be treated like unemployment? Set an arbitrary income level below its free, above you own your own. You're on your own. Look, I, I want to push this back to the states as much as possible. I think to your point that this, this entanglement that the federal government keeps getting in does ultimately drive up the price yeah. uh, of this. Uh, Ann Coulter, actually, I think was the first one, that, at least that I would credit, is going out there and say, look, let's take Obamacare, but let's add something on top of it and allow insurers to sell across state lines and create a true marketplace. Just simply add that on top of it, and would then the suddenly you're going to have people. Would the party be okay with that? I, I think it's got, to do nothing. I mean, that's the context in what you're doing is living with Obamacare, which is just absolutely destroying people financially. You is know, that Megan, what Ted Cruz's amendment does? I mean, I, I guess in essence, that's the it question does. because it's pretty it close allows to it. people to buy because one of the problems is, and we, we talked about it on the couch, is the essential health benefits that yeah. every state and every insurance company has to offer, which is maternity. Uh, Pre-existing now. Well, drug addiction it's, it's and, and a host of other yeah, things of where some people just want a basic insurance plan, which under this law and, and the House and Senate versions, they can't get. Right. Ted Cruz's amendment says, okay, insurance companies can offer those basic plans without those projections, but they have to also offer the comprehensive one. With the 30 seconds or so left, Megan, I've heard you say time and time again, certain things are, un, are deal breakers. Obamacare, building mm -hmm. the wall, where are we? I don't, I don't, I'm not terribly helpful going forward just because I don't see how you get people of of Kennedy's ideology and then people who are more centrist on the same page together and you only need two, two really isn't that many. And if it ends up not going through, it's going to be cataclysmic and that 
you can bet money on. Right. Well, Congressman, right. don't go fixing anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love Thank that. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. We'll Appreciate see you back it. here tomorrow. Thank you.